You probably saw the video the other day when I snapped a squid pole using a kite antenna. My first thoughts were to chuck the whole lot in the bin. But then I thought, hang on, might there be some uses for parts of the squid pole? As it turns out there are, and I'll go through some possibilities in this video. The first thing I suggest you do is get a hacksaw and saw the broken part of the pole straight. If you don't do that, then the bits sticking out are sharp and there's a risk of them splitting and breaking the whole section of pole rather than just the top of it. Once you've done that, you can then think about other creative uses for the pole. One possibility for semi-permanent operation where you're happy for the pole not to telescope is to try and fit it back together. Maybe using some gaffer tape or more permanently sections of plastic pipe to hold the pieces together so they don't slop around. Another thing you can do is you can use say the top section of the pole like this. This is assuming that the pole has split somewhere in the middle so that the top section is useful. You could use that say as a backpack type antenna for pedestrian mobile operating or if you're at home you could just use this as an extension to an existing pole you have. Of course the pole isn't all that rigid but it should still be fine for a small antenna like a homebrew 2 meter ground plane or the end of say an end fed antenna or even a dipole centre if you're having the coax taped along the pole so that it's the body of the pole providing the support rather than just relying on the thin floppy top bit. Their use with squid poles is another reason why I'm an advocate of thin wire antennas, even at home. Of course, if you are going to use thin wire for antennas, then you can't use traps or loading coils. That means a single band dipole, or if you want multi-bands, using tuned open wire feeder. Traps and loading coils add stress to wire, contributing to breakage, meaning you need thick wire, which in turn requires thicker supports and those like this squid pole are unlikely to be suitable. If you can get an antenna wire, say 3 or 4 metres higher, then the result should be noticeable, both an improved transmission on HF and less noise on receive. As for the bottom section, well that's quite thick and strong, and you can use that also for a small mast, for instance a support for a 4 or 5 element Yagi on 2 metres, just the thing for the next VHF field day. Now another possibility, if you've just got a single section of squid pole, is a boom for a VHF or UHF Yagi. Something of this length, which is about a metre, would be okay for three or four elements on two metres. And if you're really ingenious and your elements are thin enough, you might be able to have it so the elements fit inside the boom for storage. That will make for an ultra compact two metre portable Yagi antenna, which will give appreciable gain. With any luck, your salvaged section of squid pole will be around 105 centimetres. That's sufficient for a reflector element of a 2 meter Yagi antenna, and thus all other elements as well. Of course the elements will slide out unless you do something about the ends, but for that you can use stoppers from the bottom of a chair or maybe from a hardware store. What about sections of these pieces? In a previous video, I did an experiment where I raved this pole near a sensitive RF tuned circuit. It didn't tune the circuit very much, indicating that it seemed to have reasonable RF properties. So if you're building a crystal set, then one of the larger sections may be okay as a former for the coil that you're going to wind. Yep, one end is slightly bigger than the other, but it's really not going to be noticeable in the performance that you get. As it turns out, there's many uses for broken squid poles. Don't rush to the bin until you've explored some of them. If you want to know more about portable antennas for QRP, check out my latest ebook, Hand Carried QRP Antennas. You can search its title on Amazon or go to vk3ye.com and follow the link.